Hello Aquarius, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. This video is going to be for you if you have Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in your chart, or you're ha you happen to be a cross watcher for Aquarius. It could even resonate if you have strong Aquarius in your houses. So with that aside, let's get into this Aquarius. Welcome to those of you who have uh, joined me for the first time and a warm welcome back to those of you who have returned. Well, it's not um waste any time here let's get right into this holy spirit please show me what it is that you have for the aquarius single sun moon rising and venus signs for the first half of uh, the second half excuse me uh for november aquarius some of you could be dealing with a taurus a taurus could be a strong influence over your situation i feel aquas that either you or a cross watcher could be going through some intense sadness right now due to some imbalance that may be going on perception someone's perception of a situation may be off or a bit skewed so let's just go ahead and go over and go into the overall energy because that's what bring it brings me right into it because the overall energy of your reading the central energy of your reading aquarius is misunderstandings you may have had a misunderstanding with someone then someone in your scenario may have taken a misstep as far as communication was concerned there could have been some verbal sparring here that you had with someone it's crossing the situation Aquarius the challenge to your situation possibly having to do with a Gemini is turning over a new page I believe I got this for Aquarius the first half of November so the saga continues someone here may have a very difficult time turning over the page and moving forward maybe Someone here is hoping that the next page of the story involves them, that their name is written somewhere in that story. Could have been someone here that you left behind. It could have definitely been this person that you had an argument with. Without a doubt, it could have been this Taurus or this Gemini. Um, I see a Cancer. A cancer could definitely be um, concerning your situation. I see a situation where work, your craft is going to be significant i feel like you're moving toward your life purpose you're getting closer to that or you're getting some type of solid direction that's going to solidify some moves here that you're making career wise take us take stay tuned aquarius for your career video because that will explain a lot empowerment i feel that there's some type of there might be something here in your life that empowers you or someone that may give you some type of empowerment with regard to especially your life purpose your outlook may be um, a bit different right now on things it might be a bit down I feel that there's been a completion in your life somewhere Aquarius it could have been a relationship <sighs> somebody needs a physical someone's heart um, could be affected I'm so over here someone's heart could be affected you may have issues here with your heart, your blood pressure. <clears throat> you may have constipation issues. Some of you could be diabetics. Some of you could have hypertension. <clears throat> appendix. Your appendix may need to get, bottom line, you may need to get a physical. Someone here in your scenario could be getting some type of surgery. Okay. You could have some type of anxiety here over your health intense headaches intense thoughts eye issues here you have to be having issues here with your sight your eyesight you might some of you may <clears throat> be taking on medications due to some health issues some of you could be prescribed a lot of medications some of you may work in health care all right, that could be something here that you're getting some type of outlook about it with regard to your life purpose. I feel that moving forward, Aquarius, it's going to be all about self-reliance, trusting yourself to make the right decisions. And um, this turning over a new page could definitely be a new start with your career. You could be very focused, very busy right now. There could be some challenges in your life, but Spirit is saying whatever this is, make time to play, make time to entertain that inner child make time to for some downtime in your life to bring some type of balance to give you some type of freedom because right now some of you might feel like you're a slave to your job 
Although I'm hearing Michael Jackson song, A Slave to the Rhythm. Some of you could be um, singers, dancers, performers in some type. Very into music, possibly dance. Uh, some of you, aquas could be isolating yourself or there could be someone in your scenario that is isolating themselves from you. We could definitely feel that your child is isolating themselves from you. I see someone is blaming the other one, saying that the other one is the problem in the scenario. Could definitely be a work situation. But without a doubt, I see guilt. Someone in your scenario is feeling guilty about something that may have happened in the past regarding a misunderstanding. I feel that the time is ripe, R-I-P-E, for some type of manifestation. Maybe you're trying to manifest something. In other words, right now is the time for harvest, the time for picking, whatever this means. There's something here that you may be choosing, and now is the time for, to capitalize on something. And I feel that as an end result, you may be celebrating an outcome. I feel that there's a new vision, the way that you see, that's what I mean. Somebody needs glasses. Someone's having issue here with their eyesight. Uh, did I get this for cancer? I believe I got it for Sagittarius, your eyesight. I feel that you could be detoxing or there is a need to detox. That could be why you're having issues here with your abdomen, your colon, your health in general. Maybe that's why some of you are taking too many medications. It's time to detox and clean out your body. You could definitely be detoxing your friendships. In, in other words, cleaning out what no longer serves you, and, and including your friends, the people that you may have considered friends. You may be looking at them in a different way. It could even be your colleagues. I'm so tempted to call you guys cancer now. You're, you have children. Some of you are very focused on your children. Maybe this is why you're needing some time to play because your children, you may feel that you're neglecting your children in some way. Or they may be requiring some additional attention in your life right now. Aquarius. I feel that there's some problems here that, that could have been lingering. I feel that moving forward, you're going to rise above these problems before the month is out. I feel like you're going to awaken to your true self. Your spiritual side, Aquarius, I feel that this is a very sensitive time for you. If it's not sensitivity with regard to your emotions, it's without a doubt some type of heightened sensitivity when it comes to spirituality. You could be more in tune. You could be more empathic at this time. You may be picking up on more things and more perceptive of things more than usual. People's demeanors, even with with regard to some type of spiritual gift that you have, you could be stumbling on some type of spiritual gift or a gift could be enhanced for you. Yeah, you may be kind of caught up in your own thoughts right now. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe some of those thoughts are quite negative. Some of you aquas could be on the Capricorn cusp or there could be a Capricorn in your life that could be very significant. This could also speak of the winter season, Aquarius, that could be very significant to you in some way. Some of you could be feeling very ambitious, ready to climb some type of um, ladder here. Corporate ladder is what I'm hearing. Maybe you feel that you reached the glass ceiling somewhere in your life, but we're not talking about career in this video. So let's go ahead and see what other general messages that there are. Ah, uh, so as much as I wanted to say, let's not talk about career, I see work. <laughs> yeah, Aquarius, you come up in the upright. All right. So these are your own thoughts. You may be thinking about a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be on your mind. Oh, and this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. i be out to win at all costs. Maybe that was the case in the past. Someone can't move on from something or having a difficult time moving on from some type of episode or saga that played out between the two of you in the past. In other words, someone here is stuck in the past. You may be leaving something behind. You may have left something behind. You may have left this person behind because I just got finished talking about completions. There's a cycle here that may have completed between you and this other individual. And as soon as I talk about an ending of a cycle, here comes the world. 
may not be on speaking terms. The emotion between you and this person, you may not be sharing a lot of feelings toward one another because maybe there is a fire sign here that is feeling a bit shut down emotionally right now. There could be an age difference between you and this individual, or this could just be in their character. Someone here could be very juvenile and immature. This may be how you see them, Aquarius. It could, without a doubt, be vice versa. I see a situation here where someone here was not really committed to the relationship, and maybe you definitely had your own standards, and you stood by those standards. You stood by whatever this was that you were holding on to. <laughs> Someone here may have something here that they want to express to you. And without a doubt, it could be, I feel, a Libra. It could be a Gemini, of course. Aquarius, Libra or Gemini, but I'm hearing Libra the strongest. This could have been the person that you walked away from. There could have been issues here with esteem. Um, issues here with boundaries. Or someone here may have crossed some type of boundary of yours. Sagittarius shows up front and center in your reading. So Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Love when Queen of Swords shows up in a reading. Okay. And here is your Aries once again. Let's get into this. The bottom of the deck is the three of cups in con three of cups in reverse. Did I talk about friendships in the beginning? I feel that, like I said, detoxing absolutely. You may be reevaluating the people that you call friends or the people that you spend your time with. Could, without a doubt, have something to do with your work environment. Oh, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's figure out what this is about. All right. Someone here was very abrupt. Abrupt? Is that the right word? Aggressive? Okay, they said something abruptly. And it was aggressive. They may have blindsided you with something. Maybe you have something here that you want to get off your chest with someone. It could be this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, I'm hearing Taurus, and this is who I see for Earth in your reading. Taurus could be very significant. Yeah, you may have want to have it out with a Taurus because they do come up in the reverse. Why are you in the reverse, Taurus? And I say it, Libra. You may feel that this person treated you unfairly. May have said something here that was unnecessary or what did they say? Let's find out. They may have said something here that was untrue. Yeah. New beginning here. Okay, here comes the truth. Some type of truth and clarity comes from some type of brand new start. I feel like Aquarius, you may get a breakthrough with a stalemate that maybe you're dealing with right now. There may be someone here that may be having a very difficult time making a decision. This could definitely be you about making a decision about what though? About something that you're confused about. You're not sure. You're not feeling 100% certain and you may not know what to say to an individual. That's not like Aquarius to not know what to say. So this is unusual, but you do come up in the upright. You might be thinking about what it is that you want to say, or someone could be feeling that way toward you. Someone here may be feeling rejected toward you. Someone here, um, let's see. You may have had some type of verbal sparring with someone that you were in a relationship with. You guys had it out. That's what I mean. Some type of miscommunication. And someone here may not want to apologize or they may, they may not want to talk about something. You may feel that someone in your scenario has this refusal to change. That they are unreliable in a relationship. And yeah, they may have ghosted you. So they proved who you felt that they were. They ghosted you and now they're coming back. All right, that's interesting, of course. I think we've been seeing this for a while. Maybe you felt that this person really did give minimal effort or you feel that they really didn't make an effort at all. 
someone here is wanting to come to you Aquarius but they definitely feel like you're going to turn down their apology or not want to hear what it is that they have to say or whatever it is that they have to offer they feel that you're going to refuse it um and this may have something to do with like I said a family situation again this could be how your children are feeling toward the situation someone here is going to is willing to finally take this risk to come toward you the situation that they feel is that they that you might be feeling mentally exhausted of you may be feeling mentally exhausted of their foolish energy you may deem their energy as foolish and exhausting and yeah i feel that someone here from is deciding to come out of their shell someone here may have pulled away emotionally and needed some time and space to think Maybe this is you, Aquarius. Maybe you were just feeling like this situation here, but there was no act right. This person was not willing to get along with you. And things here became pretty unhappy between the two of you. To the point that the two of you may have stopped, started ignoring one another. So you may not be on speaking terms with the one that you love. Or this could even be your child. Or you may, have, may be at odds with your child. Because maybe someone here decided to leave rather than open up and say what it is that they really needed to say. Maybe they were very aggressive here. That's what I'm getting, aggressive. Someone here is not serious about a relationship. They lied. There could have been a, a deceiver here in this situation. Somebody here that pisses a lot of people off could be in your work environment see that's what I mean though you see right through this person someone here this could even be a court decision where the judge sees right through somebody's actions somebody's trying to avert the truth dodge the truth someone's very dodgy with their answers when you confront them for the truth I'm feeling like somebody's bobbing and weaving, like you guys are boxing. I don't know. It could have gotten to that level where maybe if, if it wasn't a verbal sparring, then this came to blows is what I'm feeling. Somebody saw through to the truth of someone. You saw someone's true colors. Your intuition, your instinct definitely picked it up and look who's at the bottom of the deck. Could have been a situation that went on with your father, your baby's father. Could have simply been an Aries. Okay. Someone here has some flaws and some issues that they realize that they need to work on, but they just don't want to change. Someone feels that it's easier to be who they are rather than to take the initiative to change whatever it is that would definitely benefit from change, from being changed here. So I see a situation where someone here could be worried about money, could be working very hard at something, and someone here is definitely blocking out the other one and, and just resolving to themselves and chalking the situation up to being to the fact that there is no reconciliation here there is no possibility of reconciliation you can be focused on all of the things here that went wrong between the two of you there was someone here that may have had a third party is what i'm sensing and that person may have become single and they are coming to you to heal the situation they may have broken up with the sagittarius they may have had an argument with their mother what are like I said some a baby's mother or a wife here their wife and that's what the conf confrontation was about someone found out about another woman here okay make it three three women here possibly for some of you it is a general reading and I see one man it could definitely, without a doubt, be a same-sex couple. The cards are not necessarily gender-specific in this case, but I do see here where someone was dealing with multiple people, thinking that they could get away with some type of lie and deception. Somebody here was, like I said, not committed. Nothing whatsoever. This is somebody that's playing around, playing games. Not serious. 
so you felt that this person was playing mind games with you. You severed the ties. You cut this off because you're saying, I don't want to have to worry about this BS anymore. And you may be, there may be some residual bitter feelings that you're feeling toward this person. So about this argument that may, you may have had with your mother or your baby's mother, you may be wanting to come and settle this argument and let this go and say, can we let the pettiness and bicker, petty bickering go? Why is the devil here? You don't feel like this person is being honest or genuine with what it is that they're saying. You may feel that their apology is phony. Someone here may owe child support. Some of you could be securing a loan. Some of you may be obtaining a full-time job. Because we talked about completion, right? Something here may have ended. I did say I wasn't going to talk about it, but it comes up. Someone's here job may have come to an end, and I feel that there is a new one on the way. Um, a full-time job. You may have ended a job because somebody here on your job was being a, a thief, a liar. Okay, I see a cancer here. Home I feel is a cancer in your situation um, that may be coming to you. You may feel that this person is manipulative in some way. They may even have some type of drinking addiction or addiction somehow. And um, because they may have lost their home. Someone here may have lost their home. They no longer have a place to live. And someone here is feeling down on their luck. And they may be calling you for a ride or calling you to come and get them. Because they may have something here in their lives may have ended. They may have, like I said, ended a situation with a third party. And that situation may have ended very disastrous, having to do with a Sagittarius. And someone here wants to come back and fix this. They want to repair this with you. And that might be feeling that might be why you're feeling very consumed in your thoughts at this moment. Some of you are very focused on your work, your career, and your own stability. This is someone here that you may have been very loyal to, you, Aquarius, or the cross watcher. Loyal to a fault. You bent over backwards for this individual. You would have jumped in the lake for this person. No rowboat, no canoe, no oars, no life jacket. But you're there in the drop of a hat to save this person. Well, they have something that they want to discuss with you. And they're hoping that the, the situation will turn out successfully because of the fact that they are taking what they feel is a risk to come and heal the situation with you. Someone here is feeling very emotional because they're having a very difficult time letting this go or letting you go, Aquarius. Because that's what I'm, I'm sensing. Someone just does not have the willingness to change. They cheated on you in the past. They said deliberate hurtful things to you. And like I said, I feel that some of you, this situation may have come to blows. Someone here may have to answer for their karma. Aquarius. Could be you. Okay. Let's take a look at the cross watcher. The energy for the cross watcher for the Aquarius. Someone here feels watched. Feels that you're keeping an eye on them or some of you are on the in the public eye. Some of you are on camera. Well, you could be posting a lot of pictures on your Instagram or your Facebook, possibly. Somebody's going to look into some, what someone was saying. Or someone here feels that your cross-watcher or you, Aquarius, may feel that they want to say, some, say something to you, but they feel that you're going to bite their head off. So you're going to be listening too closely to the details and that you're going to pick detect some type of error or some type of misstep with something that they may have said the truth is going to come out what did i get this for i got this for sagittarius someone's here someone here is getting exposed someone here felt like they were treading on thin ice yeah someone here may be securing some type of 
financial, like getting some type of financial security by obtaining a job because someone could have been down on their luck financially. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah. Your cross watcher. I'm hearing the word scrutinized. Slander. Why? Let me see what this is about. This is interesting. Someone could have slandered your name online. Gossip. Spreading gossip about you online. Why is this? Let's see. Let me use these. Why? What is this about? Okay. Well, here is Queen of Swords in this deck that I wasn't meaning to pull. But yeah, Queen of Swords comes out. So you know the truth, Aquarius. You stand by the truth. This may have been something that happened at work. So I feel like somebody here doesn't have anything better to do. Someone here is gossiping about you. You may have overheard some type of gossip or slander that may have happened. Someone here is driving to you, possibly taking a road trip to you over the holidays to clear up some type of confusion. Subconsciously, they... Maybe very feel that you're very overtly emotional. Oh, somebody's lying. Spreading some type of negative gossip here. Spreading something here. Yeah, it's like you're saying, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered with what it is that you're saying because you're lying. You're deceptive. Somebody, without a doubt, is it's only a matter of time before someone gets caught up in their lie. They know it. And someone here is very worried about that. I see here where you may have had a very strong connection. You may have emotional ties to someone here. This could be your cross watcher. This could be your Libra. Yeah, somebody said something to you because they were trying to boost their own ego is what I'm seeing. Boost their own ego, right? Trying to taunt you, trying to bait you into some type of an argument. Yeah, but it's telling me that the situation doesn't work. And that someone gets caught up in their own lie. Someone is left feeling like a fool. Yeah, but I do see a family situation. You may have sent somebody packing because you were over you were fed up, you were over the situation. Yeah, the truth definitely came out. They left you to be with somebody else. They were talking bad about you, saying some things to you, maybe trying to bait you in online, trying to cause some type of online beef. You may be feeling used in some way. I see a situation here where there is jealousy, backhandedness, backbiting, de downright deception. Someone is here shooting daggers at you. Okay, I also see a Gemini that could be significant. You may have butt heads with a Gemini. Either way, I feel like you're butt heads. I see a Taurus. You may be butting heads with a Taurus. See, I, I just feel like you're not going to give this person the time of day. Fire starter. Always wanting to start something. Could be this King of Wands here. King of Wands could be down on his luck. He may not be working, may not getting be getting some type of work here. Yeah, There's, there could be some bitterness or some resentment or this is what they're hoping for. I don't know. Yeah, I see a situation here that is just stressful. You're over it. You're over, over the games, the game playing. Okay, so I feel like someone here could definitely be doing magic against the other one to cause burdens or strife in their life. I do feel that brighter days are coming. If there is someone doing some type of dark magic, that's definitely going to get reversed or somebody gets their karma in the end. Uh, I feel that someone here wants to work this out with you. They, there may be an apology coming in. And somebody definitely wants to restore what was broken here. The happiness. The good times. Someone is coming back to restore that. There could be pregnancy around you. Someone here could have lost a pregnancy. There could have been a miscarriage. 
somebody was trying to hurt the other one, but they ended up hurting themselves in the end. Hmm, somebody lit a match and went too far. Arson? I don't know why I'm hearing arson. Something is not quite what it seems. It's not what it looks like in some type of situation here in your life. Someone may have painted a picture of the other person as a villain. But they got caught up in their own karma, their own lie. And someone here is having to face their karma and face the music. But they don't feel like you're going to want to hear anything that they have to say. Be someone that you share children with. You may have two children, another one on the way with an individual. Bottom line, I feel that you're detoxing, maybe even taking some type of spiritual bath or going on some type of sabbatical here. Aquarius or cross watcher to cleanse of this negativity that you may have dealt with. I'm just saying that's what I mean. Without a doubt, this could have had something to do with your kids. You may have had an argument with your kids. You may have had it out with them. Somebody's facing judgment. There's a judgment call here. Yeah, some of you are definitely performers. Some of you have a gig coming up. Full-time gig. Maybe you're wanting to pursue something or some type of performing. You could be in the public eye or you have an aspiration to be in the public eye. People, I'm saying onlookers. People are going to see the real versus the fake in the situation, I promise you. Onlookers. Followers, perhaps. Because we are talking about online. Did I mention Instagram, Facebook? Um, some type of online forum here. Yeah. Something here. You're about to manifest something here that you've wished for. Or you're manifesting something by means of magic and it does come forward. Someone here does not have any inner peace about the way that they left a situation. Can't sleep. Can't. So let's take a look at the possible outcome here for the Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. See what happened to Aquarius. Let go. Some of you may be letting go of the past. You may have been you may be letting go of this person. Some of you may be getting let go from a job. And the situation is going to require trust. Self-reliance. Trust yourself to make the right decision. But also the trust has been broken between you and this individual. They may be letting go of a third party. And yes, they still love you. They still want this connection. They still want to communicate. And they're hoping that when they do approach you, that, that your answer is yes. And that you will let go of past issues here. Past beef that the two of you had. To see if the two of you can reestablish something and move forward after some type of revelation of... Some foolery. Possible outcome, Holy Spirit, for the Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. For the Aquarius. Someone here is coming to you to express their love. And to step up and make the effort. Could even be your kids stepping up and make the effort, or this could be your child's other parents stepping up and make the effort with the family, with the kids, with the whole family dynamic. They definitely, without a doubt, have something to talk to you about. And this is what they want to talk to you about. You could be reconciling with your child, a co-worker. <laughs> That would be intense, but a co-worker, um, definitely a love situation. They're hoping that you will stay optimistic about this love life. And this person definitely comes with their own vices, their own addictions. And addictions does not have to be limited to chemical substances. It could be anything low vibrational. Some people are addicted to drama, addicted to attention, addicted to whatever this is, whatever the... The vice is there is some type of an addiction here that someone here may have to break. And they're realizing that. 
and they may be coming to you for some type of help or assistance or, or to offer some type of apology or consolation for something that may have played out in the past between the two of you. So for those of you Aquas who are completely done, you're over this, you're not looking back, and you want to know what possibly could be coming in your life that's brand new. Is there someone here coming in that you could possibly share a future with besides this person? Love could be a mystery to you right now. Or this King of Wands could be a mystery to you. Because you may have a fire sign coming toward you and maybe their intentions are a bit uncertain to you, unknown to you. You may even intuitively know that this person is coming into you, to your life again. They may even be resurfacing in your dreams. But I don't know why they're coming out in this spread, but either way, they're still playing a factor in your life even though you may decide to let them go. Be a Leo. Okay. There's a potential here for a new start. But yes, absolutely, the past is lingering around. This Leo could be a past person. And it looks like they may want to talk to you about something. We've, uh, we've already established that. So what about this new situation? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There could be a King of Cups coming your way. He happens to be in the reverse as well. Okay. Scorpio. Okay. Here you are, Aquarius, in the reverse as well. I feel that you do want some type of long-term relationship. You're definitely aiming for something long-term here. Why is the magician here, though? What does the magician want? It's going to be someone you had an argument with. I'm telling you, this past person keeps coming up. No, it may be difficult to shake this person. Yeah, they are still coming to extend some type of olive branch. They definitely want to bring the friendliness back into the situation with you. Um, it could be this Virgo as well. But what I do see as far as newness, the opportunity is there, definitely there for new. But the past is definitely lingering around. This person may be coming back around again to make... To, to bring, like I said, to be friends again. Or this could be you meeting someone new and establishing some type of friendship here and seeing where things go, okay? There could be a potential here for something new to start for you if you are open to it. But being the fact that you come up in reverse, Aquarius, I'm not so sure about that. But either way, the opportunity for love is there could have a lot to do with the Scorpio that could be significant to your situation. But I strongly feel that there is someone here that wants to restore a family dynamic. If this isn't a like blood-related family, then I feel like this is a work environment. Your tribe, your family, someone here that you have had a conflict with. You spend a lot of time with this individual at work, possibly for some of you. And yeah, you're restoring some type of a situation. That's pretty intense for this being a work colleague. And maybe that's just my view, the way that I'm looking at it. But that's what I see for you guys, Aquas. Thank you so very much for joining me. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope that this resonated for someone. Um like this video, thumbs up it, and consider subscribing if you already haven't. And if you didn't already know, I am not accepting personal readings at this time. And I will open it up possibly again later in the future. But thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys again in another video. Bye for now. Take good care.